Hey world, it's been when we come back to another video. Fact, I'm sitting out here outside the Hobby Airport, you know, waiting to pick my wife up um, from the airport. And I was just sitting here thinking since I'm at the airport, you know, people coming and going, I was thinking about something. And, you know, family in the garden, you know, I want you to think about this because remember your thoughts create your reality and a lot of this stuff that they put in our thoughts that they're actually fabricating our thoughts to create this false reality think about this family all of the uh footage on the news of them showing people just crossing a border crossing a border crossing a border and this has been happening for decades you dig and so i was sitting up here like well, let me think there for a minute. I can't go to another country without a passport, visa, you know, something to show my legitimacy as a U.S. citizen, you know, traveling abroad. I just can't go to another country. That government give me money for, you know, food, shelter. That government gives me uh, actually open up their high schools and their recreation centers for me and all my compadres that's coming to this country illegally or getting free medical care. You know what I mean? You can't, that doesn't happen in no other country, right? And so you have to ask yourself, you know what, all of this going back and forth. Remember, it's one bird, two wings. So whether you're Republican or Democrat, it's the same thing, family. I mean, how is it that every uh, presidency is dealing with the same thing that the previous presidency was dealing with? Nothing gets done. It's not by accident, family. And so I'm, I, I pose this to you right here. Watch this. There are 195, 196 countries in the world, right? Countries that are, that are recognized as countries with with infrastructures, with governments, and all of that, right? It's 195, 96. The United States have military U.S. presence in 178 of these countries, right? Out of 195 countries, we have like over 175,000 active U.S. troops in these countries. Now, you got to ask yourself, family. If we have this many active soldiers overseas protecting their borders and their interests, why wouldn't you guys, you know, on just on some real, real shit, build military bases across the border if that's what you really wanted? You can bring a fourth of, the, of our U.S. soldiers home. Imagine, you don't think they want to come home? And see their family or be close to their families. You think every one of these U.S. soldiers that get that get you know uh, deployed overseas to Korea and Japan and in Germany and and all these other countries? Remember, 178 countries have U.S. military presence, and this is you know agreed upon by Congress, Supreme Court, and the and the. Uh, um, presidency come on man <laughs> you build a military base right there on the border of texas arizona california what come on man that that ends all of this illegal immigration stuff and they know that but, but see that's why they don't teach common sense in school because it's not common you bring our kids home. You bring our young men home and young women home. Because why are we in 178 countries in the world? Why? I mean, are you trying to say that our kids and husbands and wives and, you know what I mean, nephews and, 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 and nieces, you don't think they want to come home and protect their country? Because remember, the reason why they joined the military was to protect their country. How is that protecting their country when they overseas? And then they're looking at the news and they're seeing how 
all these illegal immigrants are coming to the country and this and that and the third. And they're like, well, what, shouldn't we go back home to protect our country? Come on, fam. Just a little food for thought. I mean, like I say, common sense ain't common. Why is there over 175,000 U.S. active military troops in 178 countries in the world and there's only 195 countries? I mean, what y'all what y'all y'all run the world. I mean, if you're just looking at it just realistically, think about this. If one country have military presence in 178 of the 195 countries in the world, what the you know what I mean? So when you look at illegal immigration, that tells you that the government is doing that on purpose. Come on, man. You can bring our, you can bring the US troops home. And not have them being killed by, you know, uh, civilians of other countries that don't understand why you guys occupy in our country. And so it caused a lot of dissent. But we only get the one, we only get the one side of the story. Because they wanted one way. But it's the other way. And so when you think about 20, 30,000 U.S. troops, okay, protecting the border. Build a military base right there at the Rio Grande. Build another military base in Arizona. Build another military military base in California. There's no more illegal immigration problems, none whatsoever. You ain't got to worry about this. You got to worry about that. They have the areas right there where when people come into this country, they can be right, vetted right there. You know, why, why pay... Why are you guys spending billions of dollars of taxpayer money on extra border patrol agents, extra, you know, uh, drones and all that kind of stuff when you just bring our kids and bring our U.S. Uh, troops home? I'm just saying, family. Like I say, pay yourself first. And uh, thank you for standing in the garden. And in the meantime, between time, may the most high inside you bring you joy. And being with is out of 5,000.